Ego integration. a little clip here on a question um, when does it integrate the ego integrate or how do you integrate the ego um, well you don't really have to do anything to integrate the ego uh, I mean you can do it by practicing presence right and keeping it from invading your space as you're going through the journey of the ego but the ego is needed um, and for those who are saying, oh, well, let's kill the ego, let's do this to the ego. Um, that's kind of ego doing stuff to ego, <laughs> right? <laughs> so uh, we kind of don't want to go on that, um, that avenue, right? And so just let ego be ego, right? And just know that when you are in it and when you're not, which helps kind of settle the ego so you don't act out of ego, right? And then when we act out of ego, you know, that's potential of doing harm, not just to ourselves, but to others, right, in a certain way in how we're existing in life. But we need the ego to play out its role at that time in our lives, that time period, which is usually like 13 to 30. Um, and it's a time span of ego. And that's just the way it's been created. And we need that for certain reasons. And so some of it can be just survival. Sometimes it can be just needing to get ahead in life, um, could be something that we just need to experience and have the awareness of ego, what that is. So it's going to be different for everybody in your life. But ego is part of who you are, you know, as far as being in this body, it's part of it, uh, the awareness of itself, seeing itself from that point of view. And so to argue with it and to try to kill it doesn't help you. Um, it actually deteriorates the existence of who you are that's building upon itself. Um, in the awareness of it so you can be somewhere else in life. So just allowing the ego um, to evolve and be what it is, you know, just be in presence to be in observance of it, not in ego, but the observer of ego. How is this playing out in my life for me? How is it working for me, not against me? How is it the re relating of the information based on the ego view? And I can see it from my other points of view, source view, love view, um, who I truly am as a, a soul essence um, in my own being, in my own right, right? Which is what I choose it to be, right? And so in that experience, being the observer of all things that are playing out and going on in our lives, allow the ego to be. You don't need to let the ego go. Just be in presence of it and awareness with it and love it. And that's all you need to do, right? Is just to love it as it is existing in the awareness of itself because that's all that it needs. That's all that it wants is to be loved just like every other aspect and part of you. Um, from the highest to the lowest, um, you know, uh, ex ex um, <clears throat> the awareness, right? The high and lowest, which is the absence to the, to the fullness of love. And so in that space and that experience, it's allowing the ego to flow through you. Don't be and don't have grasp it. Don't hold on to it because it can take you down rabbit holes, right? And then at some point, you know, as we are moving through and it's deteriorating, because um, it will do that on its own. Um, at some point, it breaks free and lets go. Um, and then you no longer have the ego, right? And then you experience the, the bliss um, at that point um, in your life. But a lot of times we get caught up in between this time frame of our, in that, in that evolution of time around our, you know, 13 to 30, um, <clears throat> which creates the suffering, right? <laughs> and so uh, by following along with it, um, you know, we just create our own, disharmony within our lives. So the experience of what we're experiencing, you know, by being it um, instead of observing it. So in its own awareness, just let it go. Just let it be. Just observe it. You don't have to go along with it. You don't have to play out the role that it's wanting to. You get to choice. Um, you get, you have the keys to this life. You've been given the right to choose. And so you can go along with it, uh, which is a creation of the ego, or you can just kind of manifest on your own. Uh, you know, no, I don't choose that. And do your inner dialogue, you know, meditation, yoga, presence, practice. Um, keep yourself separate from the ego. You don't have to exist um, and go along with the ego. Just because it says something doesn't mean you have to do it, right? Same with our thoughts, right? You don't have to be your thoughts. You're not your thoughts. You're not your emotions. You're not your thoughts. You're not your ego. You're not your body. These are things that we have as tools of being here and to be a part of it, but not it, right? Um, so to experience it from that point of view as the observer, which is your true self, right? You're the awareness of itself. 
being the play in the play and experience, experiencing and playing it out in life, right? To where you are in the moments um, that you're here and what you're supposed to be playing out. So the experience of the ego um, integration, you know, it just happens automatically on itself. Just, you know, the more you're in resistance you are in it, uh, the more it's going to it's gonna be. <laughs> so uh, definitely just let it be. Um, just be in the awareness, observance, the present moment, and just, you know, navigate it as best as you can. You know, um, we can always help, look for help, or ask for help of divine guidance on ourselves. So definitely, you know, always check in with yourself. Hopefully that helps. Um, so there's no really need to or fight, you know, with the, the ego and integration of it because it, it manifests on its own just as it came in it's going to go out it's just the period of time frame that you have in the experience of it to be a part of it in its own existence happy journeys